All right, LakelandCarKeys.com. We are using our OBD Star DC706, which is a PCM slash ECM, TCM, and BCM cloning device. We have here a 2011 Chevy Silverado uh, E38 PCM. The customer uh, believes that they got this wet and it's been throwing some issues and they want us to set them up with a new uh, ECM. So we have here another, this is a junkyard pullout. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it came out of, but um, basically we're gonna read the flash file and the operating system flash out of this one with the, seven, with the 706. Save both files and then inject them into this one and then once it's done, we should be able to just plug into the vehicle and start it up. No key learning, no nothing. This is gonna be, these two are gonna be identical to each other. So, in the 706, we wanna go into ECM for car. All right, we're gonna select that. All right, and then we're gonna select it by brand. So I'm gonna go down and select Chevrolet and then uh, the first or the second one here is E38 ECM on bench so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then come down and hit start alright it's gonna tell me I need to be connected online I'm connecting to the server alright so in here we can go and you know see you know basic uh, ECU information so it's going to go ahead and it's going to tell us our VIN number all right it's ended 9701 and then it has some part numbers for you know these are mainly like software numbers and, and whatnot all right and then you know there's a lot more information I really couldn't tell you what what all this comes out to but we do see our 9701 VIN number there. Now, I'm using my Go Diag. This is my bench flash harness with adapter that I use for like when I'm using HP tuners or any other program that can flash one of these PCMs. So basically it gives you your, your two powers, your ground, and then your can high and your can low. So it's the exact same thing if I was using the adapter that came, or the add one adapter I believe is the P003 or P004, it's one of those that you would connect the wires in essentially program. But I already had the setup, it makes it a lot easier. And then I like, I can see the can high and can low communication as it starts doing things. So I definitely like using this. But uh, uh, if you were doing, you know, with the with the add-on adapters, it will give you a pinout. So this just lets you know this is what the, the ECU, PCM, or whatever you want to call it should look like. It has the three metal fins that go down in between the black and gray connector. And that's what we have. We have the three metal pins, the black and gray connector. Three metal pins, the black and gray connector. And... That's upside down. We actually got an E38 there, we know. This one has the E38 on the label. Um, again, the hardware numbers on the back of these aren't the same because they, they came from different years. Um, possibly this is a completely different model, but the hardware is the same. And we're gonna flash the information. So we could go ahead and this will give us our pinouts. Now this is not the exact pinout that I have on my connector, but you know it's just going into a different ground where they're telling you to go through that, that main big pin for ground. I'm just going into a different one, but still works the same thing. All right, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna connect to the ECU. All right, so that's doing verification. You know, we got communication, I can high, can low, 
power and ground. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the D flash. The D flash is basically your calibration file. And that took all of, you know, three seconds. We're gonna go ahead and save this information. I am, all right, go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and add add Silverado to the end of that so that we know that's what that is and then I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna read the flash which is this information here this is basically your operating system all the the slave files and everything in the background this takes a lot more time to read as we see that can high and can low, they are going. That's letting me know what it's reading. And this is probably going to take about three, maybe four minutes to go through and, and read everything. So I'll just cut out and cut back in when we're done. All right, so we're just about done there. As I said, the can high, the can low is going. And we could also see the little car right there flashing communication now we're 100 percent i'm just going to add the silverado all right so i just added that to the name all right so both of those are done i have both of my files now had you you know purchased another PCM or you had uh, you know a good PCM that went to something else and there's a chance that you might need this if it doesn't solve your issues I would do the same thing back up both files on the used uh, unit and just label them something that you know all right these are this was from the used unit this is a junkyard pullout that I have I've had hundreds of them. I'm not going to back up the files. I'll never need the original file that was on this. So I am going to skip over that step. But just in case, say, if you borrowed it from somebody or had to do a return and you wanted to put the original information back in it, always just uh, go ahead and back up this information the same way and then load the original information to inject in here. So I'm going to go ahead and power this off. Right. get our donor in there hook it up and you probably want to disconnect before you power off but whatever alright so power this back on and I am gonna connect so when we originally read the original computer we read the calibration file, which is labeled as the flash. And then we read the system files, which is labeled as the D flash. So when we're writing it back, we're going to write it back in the opposite way. Whereas we're going to write the D flash first, which is the longer of the two, and then write the flash file. All right, so we're going to go back and write all D flash. Oh, excuse me. Write all flash. So I'm going to go ahead and select. We're going to load external data because it's not in our hex editor. We had disconnected and reconnected. Um, so we're going to load the file that we saved. Click OK. It's going to tell us the folder where our information is. And we want this last, this flash file, Silverado. All right. That's what we want. So right now it's saying that it's erasing flash. So what it's doing is it's erasing the original information that was on this PCM that I did not back up. We don't need it. So it's going to go ahead and erase that PCM so that it's blank. And then it will proceed to write in the file that we load, which where we're at right now, we're writing the flash. We can see I can high and can lower flashing. So it's going 
And again, this is probably going to take about three or four minutes, so I'll cut out and then cut back in when it's done. All right, so we're getting down to the last couple of seconds here on right in this operating system into the new E38. All right, that's done. So what I want to do now is go back and write the calibration files. So up here in the top right corner, we're going to hit right D flash. And again, we're going to load, load external data. Oops, that's what I want to do. Right D flash, load external data, okay. And then we're gonna load our Silver Auto D flash file. Click OK. And like I said, that was about three to four seconds to write that. That's completely done. We can go ahead and disconnect from the computer. I'm gonna go ahead and power off. And then I'm gonna go install this into the truck and it should be directly plug in and start up no key programming required um, this is the exact identical copy of the original all right so I got the new uh, PCM installed there goes the original go ahead and load the key in and it starts up and runs so you know, we know uh, that this uh, clone was successful. The mobilizer light goes out, and they have some uh, brake control module issues going on here, which is separate from the PCM. So it seems everything else seems to be on the up and up. So the PCM clone is complete. And that was with the OBD Star DC706. LakelandCarkeys.com.